वेलकम टू शिपिंग पाठशाला आई एम प्रोफेसर डी एन मौर्य टूडेज टॉपिक इज ले टाइम कैलकुलेसन दिस टॉपिक इज फॉर दोज हु आर फेमिलियर विथ शिप चार्टरिंग आर दे हैव द फेयर नॉलेज ऑफ शिप चार्टरिंग ले टाइम मीन्स द एक्चुअल टाइम फॉर विच शिप इज प्रोवाइडेड टू द कार्गो ओनर फॉर लोडिंग ऑफ द कार्गो आर इट कुड बी एट द डिस्चार्ज पोर्ट फॉर डिस्चार्जिंग ऑफ द कार्गो सो दिस इज द दिस इज द टाइम विच काउंटिंग विल स्टार्ट फ्राम एन ओ आर एन ओ आर मीन्स नोटिस ऑफ रेडीनेस वेन द शिप अराइव टू द पोर्ट दिस विल टेंडर ए एन ओ आर इलेक्ट्रॉनिकली दिस विल इन्फॉर्म द पोर्ट एज वेल एज टू द कार्गो ओनर दैट शिप हैज अराइव एट द पोर्ट that is at pilot station and ready for cargo operation in all the respect so the beginning of the lay time start with the nor time counted from nor at the load port till the vessel sails out from that port and let us say the charter party agreement says turn time to commence 12 hours after nor on the basis of EIU or EOC basis. These are the two very important terminology. EIU means even if used, and EOC means unless sooner commences. So, if the charter party agreement is signed on EIU basis, that means even if the cargo operation start early, the actual free time by the ship owner. will be given to the cargo owner of 12 hours in case of unless sooner commences if the cargo operation starts early the starting of late time will start at that particular time so the general term in charter party agreement let us say it is like this the turn time will commence 12 hours after nor on eiu basis that is p w w d s h i n it means from the time of nor is surrender from the time the nor is tendered the 12 hours time is given as a free period for the cargo owner to start the operation since it is on eiu basis even if the cargo owner start the loading operation before 12 hours still he is entitled to have the 12 hours then the suffix says p w w d s h i n it means port weather working day sunday holiday included it means here the weather at the port must be good for cargo operation if weather is not good definitely the turn time cannot be on account of cargo owner and is saying s h i n sunday holiday included it means the ship has to work the shipper has to load the cargo on sunday and holiday also however if in charter party agreement is mention s h e x p w w d s h e x this means sunday holiday excluded it means in that case the ship the ship lay time will not be counted if it is sunday or it is a holiday in particular country some of the country basically the middle east where the muslim countries are there they have the holidays on friday so instead of having p w w d f h e x they may have p w w d f h e x friday holiday excluded so depending upon the place of loading or place of discharge different types of suffix will appear but these two eiu and usc will remain same so if the vessel is there for certain time and lay time has been calculated if this actual lay time works out to be more than the agreed lay time in charter party agreement then we say vessel is on damage the agreed lay time generally it is calculable lay time let us say vessel has got 50000 tons of cargo and the cargo owner has given the commitment in the charter party agreement that he will give you the discharge load rate of 10000 ton per day 
So 50,000 divided by 10,000 that becomes 5 days. It means the agreed time in the charter party agreement is for 5 days. But if the vessel has taken more than 5 days, then the vessel will be called vessel is on damage. And in that case, some penal charges will be levied by the ship owner to the cargo owner, which will be on the basis of per day and pro rata basis. On the other way, if the ship is freed early, then the agreed time, calculable lay time, it means the vessel is on dispatch. So here the ship owner will pay some incentive to the cargo owner for clearing his vessel early. So this dispatch money is 50% of the debarrage money that is generally is acceptable throughout the world. So dispatch money is the incentive by the ship owner to the cargo owner and damage is the penalty by the ship owner to the cargo owner. Now to make it more clear, you will solve this problem, one problem and then you will see how the calculation takes place and how lay time is calculated. Before that, who are on this channel for the first time, I request them to please subscribe to my channel. So let us start the calculation of lay time. Now let us see this problem. Vessel tender NOR at Chennai port on Wednesday 18 September at 0600 hours. Loading started at 1600 hours, same day, completed 1100 hours on 23rd September. Charter party class was turn time to commence, not to count. 12 hours from the time of NOR, even if used basis with load rate of 10,000 ton PWWD SHINC per day. Cargo quantity 40,000 metric ton, find out lay time and whether the ship is on damage or dispatch. Now we have to solve it by tabulating like this. Wednesday 18 September is the first day ship has arrived, then 19th. 28th, 21st, 22nd, sailed out on 23rd. Here the time starts on Wednesday. Vessel has reported at 0600 hours, but it says 12 hours is the time not to count, 12 hours from the time of NOR EIU basis. So from 6 o'clock in the morning, vessel has come, and 12 hours from there will be 6 o'clock in the evening, so that is the 1800 hours. It means the late time on the first day will start at 1800 hours. And this will end in the midnight, 12 o'clock midnight, we say 2, 3, 5, 9 hours. And the total time on the first day was 6 hours. Second day on 19th, the operation continuing in the midnight, that is 0, 0, 0, 0001 hours, we write it in the beginning. And then completing on 2359, that is the same day, midnight. So becomes one day. On 28th again, 001 hour in the midnight, completing 23.59 midnight, that is one day. 21st also, same, one day. 22nd also, one day. 23rd, starting 0001 hours midnight, and it says the vessel completes the operation at 11 o'clock, 1100 hours. Completed 1100 hours on 23rd September. So we are closing at 1100 hours. So from 12 o'clock to 1100 hours in that time becomes 11 hours. So that is the total time taken by the ship. So actual time at the port will be six hours on the first day, then one, two, three, four days, plus 11 hours on the last day. That becomes equal to four days and 17 hours. Calculable lay time, four days, how you get calculable lay time? Total quantity 40,000 tons and load rate is 10,000 tons per day. So 40,000 divided by 10,000, we get four days. Now the vessel has taken four days, 17 hours, and the agreed time is four days. It means vessel has taken more period, so it is a damage. So you say damage period will be four days, 17 hours minus four days is equal to 17 hours. You calculate into days divided by 24.71 day. So if the rate of damage is $20,000 per day mentioned in the charter party agreement, then damage amount will be $20,000 into 0.71 is 
is equal to fourteen thousand two hundred dollar. This is damage payable by the cargo owner to the ship owner. Now, if it is let us say on instead of writing S H I N, let us say the contract is signed on S H E X basis. So, what will happen here? Sunday holiday excluded. So, Sunday holiday where is the Sunday holiday? No holiday here. But one Sunday is there. It means this Sunday will not be counted. So here becomes instead of four days, we get only three days. So six hours plus three days plus eleven hours. So you get here three days and seventeen hours. Again, calculable lay time of four days. So here the vessel has taken less time. So we'll say vessel is on dispatch, and here the ship owner will pay the incentive to the cargo owner. Now other thing, let us say instead of saying this is on EIU basis. If the charter party agreement is signed on EIU, <coughs> is signed on <coughs> USC basis. Let us say, instead of EIU, you say the contract is on unless sooner commences basis. So in that case, the operation is starting at loading is starting at sixteen hundred hours same day. It means this will not wait for twelve hours. But the operation will start at 1600 hours at 4 o'clock. So what will happen? The first day, the time will be now reduced from 4 o'clock to midnight. This will increase from 4 o'clock to midnight. So that will become eight hours. Instead of six hours, that becomes eight hours under U.S.C. basis. So here, the first day operation counting will start from 1600 hours and finishing midnight. This becomes eight hours. So again, six hours that become eight hours. Other thing will remain same. So that is the difference between the USC and EIU, and difference between SHIN and SHEX. That is how the lay time calculation takes place. मिलते हैं next time, next video में एक नए topic के साथ. Till then, bye bye.